Hi, I'm Valerie Bogle. I am the owner of Flourish Magazine Style Photography, and we are located in beautiful St. Petersburg, Florida. I am just outside of downtown in an area called the Warehouse Arts District, and it's a perfect spot for artists, and my studio is part of even a bigger artist community um, right next door. When I got started shooting, I um, did it as a hobby, like a lot of other people I know. And then I went into um, uh, advertising and I was an art director and graphic designer for many years. Part of what I did uh, as an art director was photo shoots. And I was blessed to do some really big budget uh, photo shoots where I wasn't the one shooting, but I was doing all of the things behind the scenes, hiring the talents, figuring out angles, scouting locations, um, and putting it all together and then working with some amazing photographers to see uh, my visions come to life. So I focus primarily on beauty and glamour and tasteful boudoir, and um, I do some like teen confidence building photo shoots and high school seniors. And on the business side, I do lots of head shots and branding shoots. I would say my ideal would probably be um, beauty and branding. And I actually created what my info guide is called beauty and branding because I feel like they go together. My ideal client is the professional woman, of course, uh, just showing them their own beauty and helping them create images for their business that will help them elevate their business as well. I remember um, back when I was a kid, I was probably, I don't know, seven or eight years old, and I would get picked on a lot. There's a couple little boys that would pick on me a lot when I was little and make fun of me. And I remember just feeling ugly and awkward and like I didn't quite fit in. And um, it kind of sticks with you. And then fast forward many years, I'd had people tell me how, um, that I was photogenic and I didn't believe it. Of course, you know, your mom's always supposed to tell you how beautiful you are and who believes that. And I was doing a photo shoot with the agency that I was with and I had hired a couple of models and I was the art director. So I was killing myself doing, getting set up before sunrise, working after sunset. The models would just kind of show up uh, lounge around, read a book, take a nap until we were ready for them. And so they would spend their few hours of working while I just killed myself all day. And um, we were just paying them so well. And at the time I really wasn't making much. So I remember going back home, calling one of the agents that I would hire models through and asked her what it would be like um, to get into modeling myself to see if this whole photogenic thing was true and met with her. She told me to cut my hair. I, I was gonna do the young mom role. And um, I, I spent many years modeling after that. And I think for me, what happened was once I um, was in front of the camera of someone that knew what they were doing, knew how to light me, knew how to um, pose me and guide me, I actually saw pictures of myself that I really loved. So what I realize now is I do the same thing for my clients. And I've had clients that specifically said that their their whole business has turned around. Once they started getting professional photos taken, they were seen in a whole new light. And I have another client who uh, was one of my first beauty and um, glamour clients after uh, joining Sue Bryce's group. And um, when she first saw her picture, she just was in tears and said, you know, you've changed my life. I, I forgot who I was and I was really depressed and I really just didn't think I was beautiful. And now I know that I'm just as beautiful as as people have said I was before. And it was just, it, it just really is rewarding um, that, that you were able to make or that I am able to make other people feel the way that I felt when I was younger. When I got started with following Sue Bryce, I would say my average sale was maybe $500, $700. Um, I, I think... I undervalued myself because I really didn't, I hadn't been spending time actually shooting myself and I was afraid that people weren't gonna spend the money. Uh, and then watching um, a lot of Sue Bryce and her teaching, I was able to realize, okay, I'm gonna take the next step. I got the small studio that I mentioned and 
um, has since grown little by little, and now my average sale is right around $3,500. So um, it's been incredible to just see that that's kind of what I'm gonna expect. That some are more, some are less. Um, my goal is to have a $10,000 sale this year. I see so many people doing it, and I know it's possible. I have a couple of different price lists. I've got a price list for headshots, when I do headshot mini days. And then I've got my magazine style photo shoot price list, which covers, you know, uh, beauty, glamour, boudoir, high school seniors, the general personal side of things. And then I've got a personal branding um, price list. They all look very similar. I have um, pretty much followed uh, the three different buckets. I do um, sell mostly folio boxes when it comes to my um, magazine style shoots. And then on the personal branding side, I am just selling digitals. I do often try to uh, tie in some personal stuff with the personal branding. In that case, I am able to provide some prints for those as well. It's just up to the client if they want to do that or just focus solely on their business. I am now using my Canon 5D Mark IV. I still have the 5D Mark II as my backup, uh, but I rely heavily on the Mark IV and that's pretty much what I'm using solely. My main lens is the 85 Prime, which I shoot with probably 80% of the time. I've got a 24-105 that, that I use primarily if I'm doing multiple people or families when I'm zooming in and out a little bit more and I don't have to run back and forth quite as often. And then I've got the 50 millimeter Sigma art lens um, that I use as well. I have my website on sticky folios. So it is designed like they have folios to use for different, uh, different purposes, landing pages and that sort of thing. And I just felt like I liked the way that it looks and it looks current, it's uh, responsive. Uh, you can see it on all the different um, platforms and it's just clean and simple. I think there are definitely things I could improve upon it. Uh, SEO is kind of tough to do on it. I do, as a result, have my previous website still alive uh, because I had gotten less, a lot of SEO with that. So um, that one is what I, is through PhotoDeck and I use that for their galleries. So I, I did go through a branding change a few years back. I went from Valerie Bogle Photography to Flourish because my goal was to ultimately be able to bring on other photographers and I wanted to um, have them have their own identity yet still tie it with me. So it could be Joan, John Smith with Flourish or Mary Brown with Flourish. And I feel like what I do is to help people flourish. I do use vouchers. I find that I am using them mostly for silent auctions and areas that I want to give away. Of course, people are buying them as gift certificates for their family and friends and colleagues and such. And um, I basically have followed the Sue Bryce model for what the vouchers look like. I just put my little bit of information on there and a link to a landing page where they have to fill out the form um, and it follows through. I use 17 hats for my CRM. Am I comfortable with marketing and selling? Yes and no. Uh, getting on the phone, hate it. I don't know why, because once I get on the phone, I'm fine. But picking up the phone, it's like a dead weight. Um, but I'm getting better at it. <laughs> I'm making myself do it. And as soon as I call and the person answers, I'm completely on and happy to be talking to them. So I don't know what the hesitation is. I get the majority of my leads through my networking efforts, I think. I get a good deal that comes through Facebook because when clients post their images or share their images, invariably there's someone that sees them and likes them and then they are either asking for my information or they track me down. I do get a decent number through Google, not a, not a ton, but more and more that's getting a bit better. I'm getting better at working the Google platform, which I haven't put a lot of effort into until recently, but I am seeing that that's starting to pay off. And um, I hope to start doing a little bit more of Facebook ads once I get all that figured out because it's so confusing, but I know that a lot of people are doing well with it. 
I don't really do trade shows. I have done a couple um, in the past for events that I, you know, wanted to support. Uh, largely, it's just a, not a lot of time. And in most cases, I didn't get a lot of traction doing that. So if they come about and it's something I really um, believe in or think that there's going to be a good audience of women, then I, I would consider it for sure. I have all this stuff set up. I've created a big backdrop of images and things that, that showcase my work. So I'm prepared. I just um, will do it when it when it's a good fit. My average sale in the in a year, I'm hoping to be at least five thousand um, dollars. I have to up my game in selling wall art, but I I realize part of that is that I don't have a lot of what I want to sell uh, showing. So I'm working towards that, and um, I think that will help. I am doing uh, in people's homes. I go to their home for a wardrobe consultation. And uh, while I'm there, I take pictures around the house and I am using ProSelect, which allows me to bring in their pictures. And when we are going through the ordering session, I can actually show them pictures on their wall of what their images are going to look like. We can pick, uh, figure out what size needs to be up there, what types of frames and all of that. So it's super cool and clients love it. I feel like in the fear aspect, um, I mentioned talking on the phone. I don't know if it's um, afraid of rejection. Like maybe it's what the first inquiry or the, you know, when someone calls off of a lead. Um, I still sometimes think there is going to be um, a response to cost because I do get that a lot. There's a ton of people that don't have any hesitation in paying my rates, but I, for whatever reason, I worry about those that do when when I'm on the phone with them. It's weird, just in the initial part of it, I don't actually mind telling them what my rates are. And if they say it's too much, I'm okay with that. It's just the initial thought of having to call them knowing that that might be part of the conversation. That's probably the biggest thing I worry about. I. I don't worry so much about when shoots are coming. I stay pretty full um, on my schedule. And even the times when I'm not full, it's they just kind of keep coming and I'm, I'm constantly um, keeping up with marketing and networking. So I know it's just a matter of time. I feel like I've been blessed so often that I don't worry about um, what's coming next. So that's um, comforting. And especially having moved into a new studio space where my uh, rent has increased significantly, um, but it's all going well. I've actually had the best year so far um, in spite of what everything that's going on. It's been um, very profitable, so I can't complain. Very happy about that. In five years, what I would like to do is have associates working for me. I am getting a little older and I do love what I do, although I would probably like to take a step back do more of the creating and art directing and start helping other photographers to grow um, and do what I'm doing um, and just let the photography studio grow and um, have the membership hopefully in place if that works. Although I am, I am having a little bit of challenge sharing my space with other people, but I think it's there. It's here for, um, for others to use at some point once I get all the, the, the details in place. But um, it's a good space. And I think, especially for those that don't have a space, it's a great place to start and um, have so many uh, things at your fingertips that would help them grow until they can get on their own and do their own thing.